Look, I get it. The dragon looking thing on a gun is cool. But listen here and listen very, very closely. For $30, I don't give a furry rat's left ass cheek if that dragon wine and dines me then takes me back to its place and then bends over and sucks this black ops 6 has been out for about a month at this point and with that we've received now season one last week maybe this was known before it was announced but if so i wasn't aware season one was dropping so soon in my opinion this game was already in desperate need of something big and treyarch said hold my beer we got you Oh, is that right? Yeah! So what does Treyarch give to satisfy their consumers? Well, what else would they give nowadays besides microtransactions and over-the-top dumb-looking shit? Guess you have a good point. While I must say I'm a bigger fan of the more realistic war stuff that Call of Duty used to present, there is some decent stuff mixed here in Season 1. I doubt this will be an overly long video. I just wanted to express my opinions about season one so far. I have been asked by a few different people already in my comments on my other stuff, so I figured I'd drop a video for it. And speaking of expressing myself in comments or whatever, allow me to express my gratitude and deep appreciation for you crazy people that subscribed over the last week or so. I love you so fucking much. My goal by the end of the year was a thousand subscribers. In that last video, I said if we could do about 50 or so a week, we could somehow hit that goal. I didn't think that was possible, but in less than a week, we now sit at 990 subscribers. And seriously, I cannot believe that shit. So if you want to be one of those final 10 to get us to 1,000 subscribers, now is your chance. All you have to do is hit that sub button, of course, and boom, good to go. I'll forever be on your YouTube feed ready to haunt you in your dreams. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Anyways, let's get back to the video. Openly, to start, I will say that I hate most microtransactions and they do trigger me pretty good sometimes. But battle passes are something that I usually don't mind as much. I think battle passes are a proper way to incorporate microtransactions into a video game. I think they're decent mostly because they only cost $10, I think is why I can accept it. And also for that $10 price tag, you do get a decent bit of content most of the time. When most of that content is decent stuff, that's when I can accept a battle pass. And here's season one for Black Ops 6 is bringing the heat. And I mean that literally. Everything in this battle pass, well not everything, most things in this battle pass are on fire. You get a flaming Jason Voorhees skin or a My Bloody Valentine skin right after Halloween, but of course the My Bloody Valentine skin is also on fire as well. Or if you want to give yourself fourth degree burns, you can try out all the many weapon skins or blueprints, whatever they call them, because they're also going up in flames. Why wouldn't they be? They have plenty of unique things as well that aren't on fire. Things like weapon charms, logos to put on your weapons cod points double xp tokens it's all here plus they even give you a couple new weapons which is great and of course where would you be without those amazing emotes that people definitely do in real life all the time But let's quickly shift over to the bad and that would be the store as always for me Look, if you want to sell gun skins or character models, this type of shit needs to be like $5 max at most, and I do mean that. It's okay to put your foot down and stand up for yourself, people. $5 is still a lot for just a gun skin if you really think about it. Like, do you see how much stuff you get for only $10 in the battle pass like I previously just mentioned? But no, then idiots decide, and yes I said idiots because you are if you spend all your money on the store tab in video games. But anyways, idiots scroll over to this tab where most things are around $25 to $30 for a character scan, a finishing move, and a couple logo thingies and calling cards, shit like that. And also a couple weapon blueprints, which is my main issue with this shit, keyword being a couple, well, two words, I guess. If you buy a skin or blueprint for a weapon, it should be for every single weapon in the game. And again, yes, I mean that, but nope. You want to pay 20 effing dollars for a weapon skin for a weapon that you might only use for a couple weeks and never touch it again once they probably nerf it after they get your money. Here's the money, honey. And who could also forget, along with those weapon skins, you receive generic soldier skin 3 for some of them. Like seriously guys, think about it with your brain when you go into this. Is this worth that money? Fuck no. And on a serious note here, let's be real for a few seconds here again. 
Look, I get it. The dragon looking thing on a gun is cool. But listen here and listen very, very closely. For $30, I don't give a furry rat's left ass cheek. If that dragon wine and dines me, then takes me back to its place, and then bends over and sucks this. The point is, stop falling for this overpriced scam BS. If you want to buy one or two things the entire year to look a little cooler, I understand that, and I do get it. I, I admit that I do buy one or two things sometimes, depending on what it is. Mostly Halloween stuff, if I'm being real. But let's be honest with ourselves. Most people out there get off to this shit and buy almost every single thing the whole entire year in one game. Just one game. Allow me to bring this into perspective for you, how much money you'd roughly be spending on Call of Duty alone. Okay, first you buy Call of Duty and you're that type of person, like I mentioned. So you're buying an expensive edition of Call of Duty, let's be real here. So a hundred plus dollars, we'll just say roughly a hundred dollars to be safe. Then the total amount of money for every bundle in this store right now is $230. And yes, I didn't stutter, did I? Plus the battle pass, another $10. So with each season being about three months, multiply all the store and battle pass stuff by about four. And with buying the game itself included, that comes out to spending 1,060 doll hairs on one fucking game. Just to look cool, mind you. And remember, that's if they don't add more during those three month intervals, which will probably happen if you're being real with yourself. But seriously though, guys, I can't continue talking about this or I will blow a gasket. I told you this is probably gonna be shorter. I just wanted to give my opinion. One last thing I will say, all the new maps are pretty solid and much needed for Black Ops 6 mostly. There's also a Warzone map that goes along with it. Area 99 will go down as a liked Warzone map in my personal opinion. Since season one dropped only a couple weeks after launch, I will probably consider Extraction and Hideout, the new multiplayer maps, to be launch maps for me. Thank God Extraction and Hideout exists because they're actually pretty good and good maps is probably the only thing that's going to save multiplayer for BO6. But anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here for this one. Again, I can't thank you enough for all the subs you've dished out over the last week. If you enjoyed today's short video and hate microtransactions as much as I do, please hit that like button. It helps me out a ton and it shows you that you don't like microtransactions, which is great. That's a win. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well and maybe turn that notification bell on to stay notified for future videos coming very soon. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. That's going to be it for me in this one. See ya! Hard point is active. Enemy UAV inbound. Hostile RCXD in your AO. Watchdog Hilo incoming on your location.